National Park College Nighthawk Men's Soccer is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services Featured Player of the Week, Mr. Noah Searle. Noah, welcome back to Nighthawk Nation, and welcome to National Park College. You come from across the pond, as they say, from Wales. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What brought you to NPC? Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Noah Searle. I'm from uh, Wales, a place called Glamorgan, or town band known as Murph Tidville. Uh, what brought me to National Park College is just it's just a very communal area. Everyone, it's like feels very like home here. I came to visit a while ago before I came and I've been in love with this place ever since. What's the setting like compared to back home? Is it is it very much the same, much different? What's uh, what, what's different between here and there? <clears throat> oh, I say the difference between here and my hometown is probably, well, it's a lot warmer here to us. That's the biggest difference. Um, another similarity that's here at my hometown is that it's a pretty mountainous area. Uh, my home being quite a lot more mountainous, but it feels like, like I'm at home where I belong. You've made a name for yourself here at National Park College. Of course, you came in last year and led this team to new heights, capturing a Region 2 championship, playing in the district level, and now you're back for year number two to try to go even further than before. But why? What was it that made you decide, hey, my job is not done here yet. I still have work to do. Oh, yeah. we, we kind of, I felt like for me and some of the other sophomores would say that we kind of let ourselves down a little bit towards the end of last season uh, to narrowly go out of districts that close and at that late in the game. You know, we had to come back and set a new standard and show that we're not done here. You guys have done exactly that. No team is more exciting right now than this men's soccer team here in Arkansas. You guys have come into a super hot start. You're 5-0-2 after seven matches, nationally ranked at one point this season, and we're waiting to get back in those rankings, NJCAA. <laughs> Where are the votes at? We're still undefeated. This is a team that is putting it all together. You know, when you really think about it, all of the returners that came back from last year, very talented squad, the freshman faces are back. Um, brand new head coach with Coach Diego Figueroa. Um, you know, on paper, when you switch head coaches like that, you're not necessarily supposed to see this level of success like that. You're not supposed to be undefeated after seven matches. But here we are. Why is that? Uh, I believe the way, well, the reason why we're so good right now is because coaches brought us together. We're like one big family. You know, we treat each other as we're brothers and that, and we know what to expect of each other. Uh, the, way, the way coach has got us playing is like we're all working together, we're all playing off each other, and everyone knows what each person's role is in the team, so we know what to expect. This is a team that's extremely dangerous on the offensive side of the field because um, we've seen matches where you guys come out strong, very aggressive, hit them in the mouth and dominate. We think about the Pearl River match. Yep. We've seen other matches where they come out strong and they strike first and you guys are trailing and you don't give up, you don't quit, you battle back and you get the win. Or you maybe even force a draw in some situations. What is it about this team that um, is so fearless out of this bunch? Uh, well, I mean, it's just the real confidence we have in our own team and our players and our coach as well. You know, coach gives us, tells us what we need to do and we know that we need to execute it to win the game or get a good result at least. Do you guys feel the pressure? You know, at one point you're nationally ranked this season, number 19 in the country, and now everybody has National Park circled as the team to beat. Do you guys feel that pressure when you hit the pitch, or is it just another game no matter who you're playing against? Uh, personally, for me, it's just another game no matter who you're against. doesn't matter if they're a lower, like a lower-ranked team or a higher-ranked team for me. It's all, all the same day for me, all the same game. Friday, on the road to Asylum Springs, you'll take on John Brown University. This is another must-win game. It's the final tune-up game, if you will, before Region 2 play begins next week. What are you working on individually? What is this team working on in order to make sure that not only you stay undefeated and keep that streak going, but you take care of business and put yourself where you need to be for Region 2 play next week? Uh, individually, for me, I'm just trying to focus on supplying chances for my teammates, you know, what can I do better to make sure that my teammates are getting more opportunities throughout the game. And as a team, that's what we're working on as a whole, working to be more patient, have a, have a stronger mindset for every game so we keep getting better and better. Yeah, I like that. You know, as a sophomore, coming in as a second-year player, you're a leader for this team. There's responsibility that rests on your shoulders. 
What are some of the ways that you feel like you help lead this team? Uh, just by setting the example, really. Um, we have to listen to coach. We tell what our players what to expect from our coach because we coach has been here since the spring now, and so we've been with him longer than what our new players have been, and just trying to show him the right direction to go in. Noah, it has been an exciting start to the season. The buzz all around campus is the men's soccer team. And we're glad that you walked back in the doors here at National Park College for another year. We think the best is yet to come and the future's bright for your squad this year. Congratulations on the honor this week. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Uh, yeah, shout out to my, uh, my family and my relatives. Uh, shout out to my little brother, Quinn. Happy birthday. Um, Shout out to my friends Tom, Amos, and Luke Harris, and shout out to the boys in 117. Noah Searle of Nighthawk Men's Soccer. You can follow the team online on Facebook, Instagram, and X. For Noah Searle, I'm Mark Oliver, and this is Nighthawk Men's Soccer on the Nighthawk Network.